Welcome collective. Thank you guys very much for joining me today. Let's go ahead and jump on into your tarot read. We'll see uh, We'll see what the universe has for you guys today. I'm getting told letters and numbers. So we will start with those today and we'll see what comes about. Let's see what we got so far. So 18 was the first number that popped forward. We have the month of December as well. And then number six. Let's see. We'll keep going. I get told keep going, keep going. So there's more that has to come out here. This guy I wanted to come sideways out of here. So we have 25, 14, 27. The month of June came forward. Number one. We're going to keep going here. Keep going. I get told uh, nine, four, pop forward. I can keep going. Okay, I'm going to keep going. What else needs to come forward for the collective? 31. You guys know the drill too. If any of these resonate or have special meaning, this message might be a little bit more personal for you. Uh, we have the month of October came forward, then number 10, and I got told to stop. To stop with those guys, now I'm getting told the word letters. So we are going to move on to the letters, and we'll see what needs to come forward for the collective with these guys. Uh, we got C. This top one's kind of askew. L, and one at the back popping out. K, and then keep going, I get told. Keep going. Okay, what, what needs to come forward? We have S, G. H, and uh, keep going, what else? That one, Ooh, and that one too. We have X, T, and O. Okay, I gotta say it might not mean anything, but I can't help uh, but recognize the letters that form the word ghost in the street. I just said that might be total crap and it might, it might have nothing to do with anything, but it just, it's like the first thing that stood out to me. It's kind of odd. Okay, so what deck are we going to work with for the collective for this read? That's the one. The Moonology deck we'll pull forward. We'll see what message comes for you guys. What does the collective need to hear? With all these letters, these numbers, what's going to resonate for the collective? Bring love into the situation. Time to breathe it out. And hold your vision. Interesting. Uh, I don't know what you're, if you're working towards something and maybe it feels like it's taking a while or there's something that's going on in your life and you're not sure how it's going to go because I feel sort of that tension is, is part of the message in this card is to relieve, relieve some of the tension that you're feeling and to have a bit of trust and a bit of faith. I keep, especially this hold your vision, hold your vision. So whatever it is that you're working towards, whatever it is, this goal is or something that you're hoping for, you are being encouraged to keep moving towards it and to have faith that you will come to it. The end of a tough cycle approaches. And what else? Give me one more and see what's going to come forward. Oh, here we had a few. Let's see, conclusions are within reach. See, it's... This is part of why you're being encouraged to keep moving forward for your vision and not to sort of, I don't want to say not freak out, but not, not be so stressed about it. Like have faith, have faith. If it's meant to be, it'll be. Everything happens for a reason. Your time is about to come. Uh, step out of your comfort zone. Show the world the real you. Your dreams need a practical plan and a fiery climax approach is interesting. I get told to stop with these guys. Step out of your comfort zone. Uh, so I don't know if you're being encouraged to sort of get out there and do something. Something creative, something unique, something that you enjoy doing. And maybe you've held off on as of late. It might actually help you to take a breather and relax as well with whatever this thing is getting out there and doing a little bit of that sort of help to help to decompress in your journey. I keep feeling like you're going to need it. That's I got to tell you, that's the vibe I keep getting from these cards. We're talking about sort of staying balanced, staying focused, being able to relax a bit. I keep feeling like you're really going to need that and recharge your batteries because something is coming, like a change is coming, a new cycle is going to be coming. 
Uh, your dreams need a practical plan. This ties into it somehow. Your dreams need a practical plan. I'm not entirely sure how, though. We're going to have to pull some tarot cards to sort of find out where all of this sits. And this is the deck that was immediately calling to me, the Light Sears Tarot. Uh, so, Spirit, can you please clarify what's going on here? What is going on here? Uh, the Ace of Swords. Uh, I see a need for clarity of the mind in this Ace of Swords. Being able to recognize the truth. We do have the Lover's card was the next one that came forward. Uh, it doesn't always represent romance. Sometimes it just speaks to choices that need to be made in a relationship. This might be where maybe some of the confusion is coming from. It may tie into a relationship that you have. Or perhaps a relationship that you're wanting or wanting to evolve in a certain way. The Page of Pentacles. Okay, I do see friendship in that Page of Pentacles, but I see... I, I keep getting told like it's one figure, one energy. I think this is like loving yourself and being friends with yourself and I think this is part of your call to sort of step out of your comfort zone and to go do something that you enjoy doing just like I don't know if you're going to meet somebody while you're out there if that's what it's speaking to temperance that's weird so the first thing I saw when I looked at this temperance card what I was told by my guys is like yin and yang yin and yang I don't know balance balance the other half of something. I keep feeling like it ties into this fiery climax card. I don't know what this is, this big change that's coming in your life or this opportunity that's going to come forward. But I feel like I, it needs space to come forward. And part of that is that step out of your comfort zone and to show the world the real you. To sort of just be yourself. Allow yourself to shine through. So no social mask. No sort of pretending to be a certain way. Just allow yourself to be true to you. And those who appreciate those qualities will gravitate towards you. And those who don't, won't. And why would you want them around anyways if they don't appreciate all those wonderful things about you, right? That's obviously not somebody you're going to click or get along with. I keep feeling like this is an important transition for you to release sort of some of those stresses. Uh, to let down that social mask and to do something for yourself. To do something that you enjoy. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, I keep feeling like it's like leaving the house and going out and doing something. I don't know what that is. I don't know if this is just like going to see a movie by yourself. Um, treating yourself to dinner. Or if this is like going out for a walk or going out to do this or going out to do that or whatever this thing is but you are being encouraged to go do something it's going to help to relieve a lot of the stress i see a lot of stress in the nine of swords i feel like the more that you sort of sit i don't know if i want to call it hermit mode um or even say that's like sitting at home but within your routine the more you sit within your routine uh the more the stress kind of builds and that's why you're sort of getting this call to sort of shake yourself out of that because it'll shake you out of the mindset too and it'll help to sort of release these things that you've been worrying about. Because it takes your attention off them and puts your attention on something different. So, <laughs> that's really funny. The Seven of Pentacles. Uh, I got told the word seed. So I'm going to show you this card. I'm going to show you. You can see how he's growing the abundance there. You can see how he's got all the colors underneath him, all the chakras. And it's the little plant that he's growing. I keep feeling like this is the seed for something whether you realize it or not i know everything happens for a reason i absolutely believe that and i feel like this is part of that too this is part of the message that's coming forward we have justice which represents balance see i keep finding balance balance things coming back into balance uh part of that is you coming back into balance yourself though that's a big part of this, this isn't like balance just randomly washing over you like magic this is like you doing things actively that will help to bring balance in your life. So whatever this thing is that you like doing, get out of the house and go do it. Get out of your routine. Step out of your routine and go do whatever this thing is to sort of shake shit up. And, and it'll take some of these worries off your mind because you'll have something new to focus on. It might help to bring you some clarity in other aspects too. Because I did get pulled back to that your dreams need a practical plan kind of thing. And I feel like sometimes it's hard to find when we're like sitting around and being like, okay, we got to think this through. We got to think this through and we get a little wrapped up in it. So you might need to step away for a little bit 
to find a fresh perspective. That's weird. Okay, so I did pull the devil card. There is no negative energy associated with this card whatsoever when I pull it, which tells me that this is most likely a Capricorn energy. So I don't know if that's your energy or if this is going to tie into that lover's card and perhaps somebody who steps forward in your life or somebody who is already in your life. Um, but it does not speak to anything negative in this read. I got to tell you guys, I always trust my intuition on different energies in these cards to be able to interpret the messages. There's nothing negative in this devil card in this read. There is nothing. Uh, tower transformation. Transformation. Somehow this Capricorn energy ties into transformation. Whether this is your energy, you have this earthy energy, and it's you who's about to be transformed. Or whether this is an energy that's coming into your life that's going to bring transformation. The Ace of Wands is new beginning. I got the Queen of Pentacles. She speaks to growth, confidence. Uh, I see stability in her too. See, this is part of it too. You need to step away from whatever's going on here for even a little bit. Just take a breather. Take a time out. Go do something fun. Go do something that takes your mind off of all of this crap. It's going to help you to relax. It's going to help you to be yourself. It's going to help you to find clarity. And whatever it is you're doing, because you're like, you're too deep in it. I keep feeling like you're too deep in whatever it is, in this stress and this worry, to be able to find that clarity. It's just too much weighing on you. And it's kind of throwing your balance off. So it's time to take that time out for yourself to be able to get your feet back under you again and to feel recharged. I also, I keep feeling too like, this Queen of Pentacles energy is like, it's like a switch flipping. It's taking this time out and gaining this clarity. And once this clarity comes, it's like this. Okay, now I know what I need to do. I don't know what it is about this time out that helps you to really find this and discover this for yourself. It, like I said, it might just be sort of taking your mind off it or allowing your mind to expand and to now see it from a new perspective. But I keep feeling like this is where you're like, okay, now I know what I need to do. Now I know what direction I need to move in. We have the world card. There is a new cycle coming your way. I feel a lot of happiness and I feel a lot of positivity in this card. And I feel like it's also tied to an aha moment, which ties into the Queen of Pentacles, which ties into this Ace of Swords. But the Ace of Swords, I feel more struggle with. And it was the first card that popped out from the deck. It was trying to find that clarity, trying to find that truth, trying to make that discovery and, and figure something out. It's like once this aha moment comes, I feel like a weight gets lifted. Like a weight gets lifted and now it becomes clear. You just need to find the Zen for yourself. This, this taking time out, this doing whatever this is. We have the Three of Cups too, happiness and celebration. And camaraderie as well. So you might be getting a call to go do this with a friend. To go do this with a friend or spend time with friends to take your mind off of this too. The Queen of Cups. I also feel once this shift comes where you're able to find this balance, it's easier to do again. So when another situation comes about where you might be feeling stressed out or whatever, I feel like now you've actually found, I don't want to call it a coping mechanism, um, but it's like this awesome little answer to being able to find your Zen and opening yourself up to find clarity in situations. You got another thing that you're struggling with? You're going to repeat this. You're going, I'm going to go take a breather. I'm going to go do that again. I'm going to get my mind off of it. And within doing that, this is where you're going to keep finding your clarity in situations. And that is part of personal growth and what the Queen of Pentacles speaks to as well, that growing. And the Seven of Wands. Because you might be trying to heal your heart at this point. You might be trying to mend or just trying to figure out something that's causing a lot of emotional stress. Because that Three of Swords doesn't always represent a heartache or a heartbreak. It might just be some emotional stress that's going on that you're trying to figure out. But I got the Seven of Wands right next to it. So I have this balance. This is the most beautiful card about balance. A lot of times it speaks to sort of boundaries or setting your ideals. But I feel balance in this card. And I feel like somebody who's very sure of their path and very sure of what they need to do and the choice that they need to make. And that's what I felt in that Queen of Pentacles, that 
okay, now I know what I need to do. And it's kind of being reiterated in the seven of wands. This is where you're going to find your clarity in doing whatever this is. Seven of pentacles or six of pentacles, even give and take and seven of cups. I'll tell you what I see in the six of pentacles. It does have a few meanings. I see a gift and a generosity. What I see for the gift and generosity is not pentacles, it's clarity. It's the gift of clarity, especially sitting next to the seven of cups when you're unsure of what to do or unsure of a choice to make. It's a gift of clarity. Taking this time for yourself and allowing yourself to expand and open up the eight of cups. Because hmm. I see in the Eight of Cups walking away from something, something that no longer serves you, being able to release it and being able to move forward. That's something you're having trouble with doing right now in this situation that you're in, especially with this Five of Swords. Uh, this one, I always feel like somebody's squawking in somebody else's ear. or And sometimes it's not necessarily another energy. Sometimes this is just thoughts that keep playing over and over in your mind that you're having trouble getting away from or having trouble sorting through and seeing the truth of. They're, they are negative though. This is negative. And it's like having trouble really getting away from that while you're in this, this routine. So this is why you're having trouble finding clarity. Being to, able to step out of this routine and give yourself something new and step out of your comfort zone. And it's like it's, it's what you need to shake this five of swords. It's what you need to shake uh, this crow or this raven that keeps speaking in this, this guy's ear. It's what you need to release that. Seeing that whatever this is is not serving you. And you can leave it in the past and walk away from it. You know, walk away from it and find your clarity. Like I said, I keep feeling this. Now I know what I need to do. Now I know what I need to do. And you have taken all of this. This is why I was feeling like this is part of your personal growth and your evolution. It's like taking a step forward, having, having this thing now that you can always go back to, this sort of system for finding clarity whenever you're going through a rough situation. It's learning more about yourself. Learning more about yourself because we do have the Empress and I do see a lot of personal growth in that Empress card. I do see a lot of evolution. I see a lot of change. Uh, like this might feel, I don't know, it might not feel like a huge change for you, whatever this thing is, uh, but it actually is. It changes the way that you live your life going forward. Part of it is the clarity that you find in whatever the situation is that causes you to make choices differently in the future. It's also this way of being able to find your clarity and recognize that you have this key now. Whenever you're going through a situation that's something similar and you're sort of struggling to figure out what you need to do, you now have this way of knowing that you're going to be able to clear your mind and find your truth. The Three of Pentacles. And death and rebirth. Yeah, I keep feeling like this is a turning point for you. Uh, it's a turning point that brings a lot of abundance and positivity. Uh, but it, this one really starts from the inside. A lot of times I feel like, okay, something's coming. An opportunity is coming. Uh, a door is going to be open. That's not the vibe that I get in this read. I get the vibe that this is something that starts on the inside. It starts with an aha moment. And then it just transforms your life there because, I, like I said before, it affects the choices that you make going forward in the future, how you choose to live your life. It's like finding a new perspective. I also feel freedom in this card, a freedom. So whatever this, this thing is that you're struggling with and you might be feeling like it's kind of trapping you in this mindset right now, there is a freedom from it. Once you find your aha moment, we have the Knight of Cups. So there may have been a relationship here that came to an end or you're not sure if it's ending or it's kind of up in the air or you wish it's something that could be rekindled here. Because I do kind of get pulled back with a lot of these cards into a relationship. The Knight of Cups. But the Knight of Cups, I, I got to tell you the vibe I get. It might have this romantic vibe, but it's not a stable, long-lasting, committed vibe. It's not a Ten of Pentacles. It's not a family situation. It's not a legacy. It's not something to build with. It's a young energy. It's sort of an energy that's just, it doesn't fit. It doesn't feel like it fits. 
I always tell you guys what I feel in different energies. Um, I don't know that I feel like it's a really negative energy, but it doesn't fit your energy. It's not suited to you. It's not meant to be the partner you build with for the future. This person is meant to be on a different path than you. And I think you're able to see this with this clarity that comes forward. It's almost like being able to look at this person in a new light and to be able to see certain things about them that once the emotions are taken away, you're like, you know what, that's something that really wouldn't have worked long term. They really did want something different than me or the personality fit just wasn't quite there. And it's like it's easier to let go of this piece of things and to start. And maybe that's what this aha moment is. It's focusing on what you truly do want in the future and what really would fit with you. You know, those must haves. And maybe that's your dreams need a practical plan card. You know, if, if I'm getting a partner that's coming, these are the values that I want this partner to have. These are these, these core things that I am not willing to compromise on. That you would have had to compromise with this Knight of Cups. And maybe that's why this Knight of Cups came into your life. It was to teach you this. It was to show you this. That there are certain things that you're not supposed to compromise. Certain values you're supposed to hold to and keep searching for in another person. Because I keep feeling like this was just not the right fit. This person did not match you. It wasn't a good match. But now is a time where maybe you're going to find that and that's going to be a piece of your clarity. That I need somebody who who is open to to, you know, this thing or open to that thing or certain core things that you just need to have in your life to be happy. And being able to discover that gives you clarity and it gives you focus for the future. I also feel like it gives you relief too. Because it's like now I don't have to wonder if, if every person could be that person. I now kind of have this standard, right? And if people don't match that and that's not where they're at in life, then that's my answer that this is not supposed to be my person. But if they do match that, well, then I know then I know that's the one I'm supposed to be with. I see the King of Swords here. Very intelligent. Very intelligent. Uh, it's funny, a lot of times I feel like this is somebody who's kind of emotionally cool or detached or maybe has some kind of emotional baggage they don't want to deal with. It's not the vibe that I get in this read. I get that this is more your energy. And I see this figure, it's a very smart figure, sitting back very calmly. I'm just looking. I'm looking out over the horizon with like a fresh gaze, a fresh look. I'm having a fresh understanding and I feel like this is what you're working towards. And realizing there's a little owl in there too and owls represent wisdom. It's like seeking that information. You now have that clarity. You're now looking at things in a new light. And I'm going to tell you, that would be a practical plan. Is having this, this list of qualities that you need in a partner. These things that you just cannot compromise on if you are going to be happy with somebody in life. That is a practical plan. And that does make it easier to find the person that you're looking for because it helps you to step away from ones who are not that. Right? So you're not wasting your time elsewhere. I think this is part of your aha moment, but the cards are encouraging you to be able to step out of your comfort zone and go recharge your batteries, go do something fun that takes your mind off of all this crap. That's where you're going to find your clarity and being able to step away from it. Your switch will get flipped. Your aha moment's going to happen. And after that, there's no going back. And what I see in the cards is it's like a step in your evolution moving forward. And it does take you to more abundance. It does improve the quality of your life because it improves the choices that you make that reflect you more. It's like becoming more authentic to yourself. All right, guys, have a great day.